This is our world. With over 200 million square miles of land and water. Home to millions of different species of plants and animals. There's a lot to explore. So let's get started. This is Earth 101. Today, we begin our adventure in one of the most iconic, colorful, expansive, and biodiverse areas of wildlife on the planet. It stretches over 2.2 million square miles and includes territory that belongs to nine different nations. This is the Amazon Rainforest. Located in South America, the Amazon represents over half of the planet's remaining rainforests. This makes it the largest and most biodiverse tropical rainforest on the planet. Biodiverse refers to the variety of life that exists in a particular place. It can include both plants and animals. And there are a few places on Earth more biodiverse than the Amazon rainforest. It is home to about 16,000 different species of trees. It's estimated that 390 billion trees call the rainforest home. And it's not just the trees who find the rainforest the perfect place to live. There are hundreds of thousands of indigenous, or native, people who have lived in the Amazon rainforest for thousands of years. This incredible area is also home to about 40,000 plant species, 3,000 different fish, 1,300 bird species, 430 mammals, and 2.5 million kinds of insects. And there are more new species discovered every year. There are some very interesting and rare inhabitants in this lush, abundant forest. Poison dart frogs are some of the most colorful animals on Earth. These bold colors are meant to ward off predators and keep them safe. But poison dart frogs can be incredibly dangerous in their own right. Less than two inches long, some poison dart frogs are very toxic and have enough poison to kill several grown men. Small and beautiful, but best to observe from a distance. The golden lion tamarind monkey is another rare and intriguing inhabitant of the Amazon. Though it resembles a lion, the king of the jungle, the typical tamarind is only about 10 inches long and weighs just over a single pound. Tamarins are social animals who move and sleep in groups in places like hollow tree cavities or dense vines that are far from the forest floor. They move from nest to nest each day to minimize the odds of predators finding them. And there are plenty of predators in the rainforest, not the least of which is the mighty jaguar. The jaguar is the largest cat in the Americas, and the third largest in the world. Only the tiger and lion are bigger. With a strong, compact body and powerful jaws, this is a fierce top-level carnivore. Unlike the social tamarind, jaguars are solitary animals who hunt and live alone, except during mating season. Jaguars typically hunt on the ground, but sometimes they'll climb into trees and then leap down onto prey. And unlike most big cats, jaguars also love the water. It's true. They'll swim, wash themselves, and relax. And they'll hunt in the water too, for fish and whatever else they can catch. Speaking of water, the Amazon is home to some exotic aquatic animals as well 
including perhaps the most interesting dolphin you've ever seen. The Amazon River Dolphin, also referred to as the Pink River Dolphin for obvious reasons, is found throughout the river basins in the Amazon. Unlike most dolphins we might think of, which live in the ocean, the Amazon River Dolphin lives in freshwater, not saltwater. And unlike most dolphins we might think of, it's, well, pink. They come in many shades of both pink and gray. They start gray when they're young and slowly become more and more pink as they get older. And their color isn't the only impressive thing about these guys. They have the largest bodies and the largest brains of any freshwater dolphin. They can grow up to 400 pounds and about nine feet long. And believe it or not, their brains are so big, they have 40% more brain capacity than humans. Altogether, one out of every 10 known species in the world calls the Amazon rainforest home. This makes it the biggest community of plants and animals on Earth. All of this diverse life makes the Amazon a truly special place and a place that is truly important to our Earth as well. Humans cannot survive on Earth without trees. Trees and plants help create breathable air through the process of photosynthesis. Sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide are all absorbed by the plants and trees, which use these elements to create energy and food. In the process, the plants and trees release oxygen into the air. And with 390 billion trees absorbing carbon dioxide, or CO2, from the air, and releasing oxygen back into the air, the Amazon rainforest is a vital part of our planet's survival. In fact, the Amazon creates more than 20% of the world's oxygen. Truly amazing. The rainforest is deservedly referred to as the lungs of the Earth. The Amazon rainforest also plays an essential role in helping to control Earth's atmosphere and climate. When all of the trees and plants take in CO2 in order to make food by the process of photosynthesis, the carbon is stored. This means that it isn't warming the planet as a greenhouse gas and contributing to climate change or global warming. The Amazon rainforest clearly is very valuable, but since the late 1960s, it has been in serious jeopardy. Each year, humans destroy about 20,000 square miles of this beautiful forest. Logging, mining, cattle ranching, oil drilling, dam building, and industrial development are all causes for deforestation which means the clearing of land. The result? It is estimated that more than 20% of the Amazon rainforest has been lost. And globally, it's even worse. Roughly half of the rainforests in the world have been destroyed in the last 100 years. Half. So, what does this mean? Well, when all those trees are cut down, all that carbon that was stored is released back in the atmosphere at an alarming rate which has a severe effect on the climate. And with that deforestation, all of these amazing animals we met, and thousands more, are losing their habitats. This leads to all kinds of problems for these species, and many of them are vulnerable or endangered. If the forests continue to be destroyed and cleared at this rate, many of these beautiful animals may become extinct. It's up to us to protect this amazing and valuable place. And it starts by learning. There are many organizations committed to the protection and conservation of the Amazon, and educating us on ways we can help. And as we've learned, if we protect the rainforest, it will give back to us. When we 
you come back, we'll dive deep below the surface to explore the cycle of life in our oceans and witness some of the greatest swimmers you've ever seen. Stick around for more adventures here on Earth 101.